Hey guys, at my local river spot again. Uh, I lost a really nice bite here two days ago, I think it was. I'm gonna try to bang out this uh, shoelace challenge. I'm gonna try to catch a, sh a bass, or any kind of fish really, but I kinda want a bass, I want a bass. So I got just get this like jig head rig out of, and a hook out of a, uh, of a swim bait. And I took the swim bait off, it was all beat up and crappy. And I put this shoelace on it, it's just a yellow shoelace. Um, and I'm gonna try to catch a fish on just a shoelace. I get the weight on there just so I can cast it out there a little farther, you know, that kind of stuff. I know I can catch a fish on this. All right, so I'm gonna try into this bridge. Oh, it's not a cast, it's not a terrible cast. Not what I wanted to do at all. But I'm gonna play it anyways. No fish. Try it again. I'm gonna kneel down maybe. Not really where I wanted that either. I wanted it up close. Oh, I got one! Yes, dude. I got a shoelace bass, guys. Shoelace bass, keep them low. Keep them low. Decent bass for shoelace. Shoelace bass is done, guys. Look at this. I knew it. That's about the same size of the bass that I lost that one time on Shoelace. He's freezing. Look at this. Look at this, guys. I know I'm a little excited, but I've been trying this for a little while now. That's a nice, solid pound. I don't know, maybe a pound and a quarter, a pound and a, I don't know, something like pound and a quarter, maybe. Check that out, guys. That's crazy. That's a shoelace bass right there. I caught him on, yeah, nice little chunk, nice fish, right on that shoelace right there. Yes, shoelace ba bass down, guys. Let's do this. I just got here. This is going pretty good. Let's get a good, try to get a good release on him. Yes, one down. Back down here at my other spot, a couple feet, uh, maybe 50, 50 to 100 feet down. Um, the fish tree that I normally try to fish is completely bare right now. So I, and it's very skinny, so I don't think that's gonna hold many fish. I'll still try it, but this right here in front of me still has somewhat leaves on it, but nothing crazy. So I'm gonna pitch a few under it. See if there's any bass chilling. It wasn't really a pitch, it was more of a side cast. But. There we go, that's better. Try to get more of a reaction bite when you're using a bait. It's not very. If you're using a bait that's not very realistic. Then you want to go with uh, more of a. You try to get more of a reaction bites out of these fish if you're trying to catch a fish on something that they don't eat normally, like a shoelace. <laughs> so I'm gonna take a toss under this crappy tree right here and try to get it down over there to that stuff where it's a little bit more thick and has more stuff on it. So I'll just do a little underarm side side cast like that. Oh, it's a tree branch. Oh my god, I look like an idiot. I broke it off. No, 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 no. Here's an update. So, I just casted under this tree over here and casted under, <laughs> I hit an underwater log. Thought it was a fish bite. Hook set into it like a champ. Snap, broke my line off. So, I went back and rescued it. I got it back. So I'm ready to catch more fish. Uh, I wanted to tell you guys, I don't know if you guys always notice, I'm using 
my very small ugly stick ultralight I use it all the time the reason for this I fight I fish very tight areas uh, on land where you can barely even fit a pole in, you can barely fit yourself in it makes it extremely easy to fish these areas with a small pole not only that it makes it a lot more challenging and it also makes the fish a lot more fun to catch when they're uh, if they're a small fish they seem a lot bigger um, I have lots of reasons normally what I do is I'll take like a uh, I'll take a reel off of a medium action and I will right, right now I got this medium action Shakespeare uh, navigator reel on it it's kind of a piece of crap but the one that I had on here before um, it broke on me it was a Bass Pro Shops reel it was pretty nice um, but I have another one, another one of those reels on my other pole actually but it's a little bigger than the reel that I had on this pole but anyways yeah that's about it I use these poles to get into tight areas mainly so no fishies on to the next spot it looks like my camera face this way so I can get some good lighting um, it just started raining so I have to head back because I don't have a waterproof case on my phone that I record with so we did pretty good today I finally got the bass on my uh, shoestring so I got a shoestring bass that's cool uh, like I said I've lost a few others so I know for a fact these things can catch bass I wish I was able to catch more but I'm happy with what I got finally get that out of the way I have another challenge that I'll probably come at you guys with. I'm hoping this year, but I might have to wait until next year because it's starting to get a little cold up here. Water It's starting to get a lot tough to fish. Um, but, alright guys, I'm getting wet, so tune in. Oh, and uh, soon um, I'm going to be doing a 500 subscriber giveaway for a $50 or $75 Bass Pro gift shop. So make sure you subscribe and tune in. Make sure you give me a thumbs up for that shoelace bass, guys. Thanks. Throw me some comments later.